All ladies, our pride. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Our Ladies Our Pride. My name is Amaka Kia. On today's edition, we're talking about something important too. Time management. And I have a very special guest. She's a barrister and a woman who has done so well in the affairs of women. And she's going to tell women how to manage their time and use it judiciously to do the right thing. She is Enewa Rita Chris Karba. Welcome, Ma. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I, I was just wondering about Enewa. Is this your name or oh, the title? Enewa is actually a title. The full thing being Enewa Kidoma. It's from the Doma uh, Kingdom of Benue okay. State. Enewa means mother, mother of the community. Wow, that's good. We want to have mothers, proud mothers to be on our set. People who have done something that we want to celebrate. And I'm privileged to say, you are here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we want to talk about time management, mm. especially for women. How do they manage their time? Mm. How should they manage their time? Time, time management. Time itself is, is of utmost importance. The time and the times of a man or woman must be accounted for. And when you see the fact that your time has to be accounted for, then you would manage the time judiciously. You will manage it economically. You will manage it to take care and cope with all that you are. When you look at time, the average day, you find that for the man it's different. But when we talk about women, a lot of women think that their time is for frivolous things, yeah. the less serious aspects of life, and, and it's wasted. And the way you gather and harvest your time actually amounts eventually to who you to who are. You are. Yeah. Assuming, for instance, you're a fish trader, how do you manage your time? You wake up bright and early in the morning, 4 a.m., because you need to be up and early for the nature of your trade. You mm -hmm. educate yourself on your trade. You prepare, of course, the day looking after your family. Mm -hmm. Immediately that is dispensed with. You then take on your trade. What do you do with your trade? Are you going to the market? Are you trading? Are you buying? Are you selling? And then there are times, of course, you have the free moment. What do I do with that free moment? Do I just sleep? Do I gossip? Why engage in things that are non-profitable? You might decide, I could better myself with the extra time. With the extra time, you could look at how to improve your business. You could read. You could listen to even radio programs because they're totally educative. <laughs> you could do things that would improve you. At the end of the day, again, there's a time. Do I get back home at five or six mm -hmm. to take care of my children? What is the age of the children? How much mm -hmm. care do they need? Time to take care of my husband. And then eventually, time for me. For time to sit back and see what I've done with the day. Mm -hmm. Time to actually put together my accounts in the evening. How much fish have I sold? And what's the profit and what's the outgoing? All of that is a full day's work. And eventually, when do I sleep? Because I need to sleep. And of course, all women must be praying women. Either they're Muslim women or Christian mm. women. There must be time within which to pray, mm. time within which to commute with their God. You would find that with every human being, there must be a management, a judicious management of time, or else if you let time just go, five, 10 years down the road, you wonder, what have I what done have doing? with my you life? Know, when, when we talk about women and time, mm. you, you just hit the nail on the head now. Because some people, some women will wake up in the morning and have a bat and move to another woman's house. What do you really have to say about some of such acts that women use to occupy themselves? Ill timing. Well, there's some women who are housewives and 
The housewife imagines that all she has to do is take care of the husband and children, and possibly the home. But more often than not, the housewife just finds that she has a lot of time on her hands. But the time she has on her hands should not be wasted gossiping, going from place to place, mm -hmm. actually becoming a nuisance. She could mm -hmm. redeem that time with good work. Right. She could have work in her local church. She could have work in the local care for women and children. She could even get involved in the local community. How to get the environment clean. She could take time to educate herself. Assuming she has a particular degree, she could better it. Time can be spent doing things that will profit not only her, to her family, family and her environment. Yeah, you know, getting them informed, you just mentioned that. I, I see women abusing the time mm. that they should have used mm. to get themselves informed. Mm. Why did I use those words? I've, if you go to the traffic now, the vendors, they even know us now, they bring fashion magazine to us and they give the man a newspaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this man is being empowered. He's assumed that he has somewhere he's going to and the woman doesn't. Mm. What, we, what do you have to say to I women? Know, I know. Well, we have a choice here in that oftentimes the, the news vendor will look at your face and decide that, oh, she might like fashion magazine. And the furthest thing in his mind is the punch. Or this day you have to ask mm -hmm. for this day and then again I noticed that and this would help us in our home setup the man goes out for instance he works all day he comes back exhausted mm -hmm. the woman has possibly been at home or engaged in less profitable, profitable ventures venture. and all she wants to do when he comes back is gossip about the day or what she's been doing with the children and she cannot get his attention because he doesn't want to listen to that it would help you to begin to study and begin to know those things that actually interest him read the newspapers check the sports page mm. get to know what is going on it would be amazing when you start to talk to a man about his pet habits yeah. when you know the football clubs is interested and the last pages of the newspaper will tell you all that story the newspapers will tell you about stocks and shares. And if the woman takes a little time to read those papers and engage her husband in meaningful, meaningful to him conversations, yeah. meaningful you would him, find yeah. that not only do you attract his attention, you would actually then bring him round to your own way of thinking, having satisfied him. Yeah, and sometimes so it, it, it brings both of you, make you to bond, like closer to having an understanding, oh, and you might just give him a solution in business Indeed. if you're also informed. Indeed. But how can you put in a little of your experience in your career as a legal officer? You've done this, you've gone, you've had women, you've settled scores for women and their families. Hmm. What would you advise them? How can you make them come out of that shell that they well, brought to themselves? I, I still think it's a matter of orientation. And, and it's, it's almost as if I've been doing it this way in the past 20 years, it hasn't worked. Maybe I should try the other way. Assuming you wanted, like you said, go into politics. How do I go into politics? I'm a housewife. Before you go into politics, sit down and plan. I want to be um, a, a councillor in five years time, not today. Before you go into it, what would make me attractive to my community? Mm. You find that the easiest way to get into the hearts of the community is community service. You look into children, you look their into needs. women, you look into their welfare. You might even decide that your job in your village is making sure there's water in this village. You might even decide that you're going to take time to take care of women and children, give them gifts, give them the blind ones you care for them, the poor ones you care for them. You might even decide to make a profession of conflict resolution, settling quarrels in the community. This community and the next one community have not spoken for 50 years. You find out why, you settle it. You see, these things you can do without much capital. 
You are the kind of woman who helps children. You want to know who is ill and what they're doing. You actually begin to put your, insinuate yourself into their psyche as a woman that can be depended upon. Yeah. By the time you come back to them in two, three years time with your manifesto, so to speak, mm -hmm. they're ready to stand behind you. Mm -hmm. But if you just come in waving Naira that you have got through all sorts of means, you're not getting them. Let your good work speak mm. for you because then it will bring smiles to the face of so many and people will stand and support you. And do you really think there should be a word like housewife? Because I, I know the Bible, is, I'm a Christian, it says a virtuous woman mm -hmm. whose prize is more than rubies. Indeed. It doesn't mean that you're going to sit at home. It means don't do anything. Fold your arms, look at television. Oh. Ah, bring, borrow, go to that uh, video club, borrow five uh, home video, finish the first, ah, hmm, this Genevieve, eh? those are the stories you are aware of. If, if our women are coming out to this community tax with their little, do you think they will be able to break the force? They would indeed, they would indeed, there's so much to be done in the community. And take education in the local community. Most of it is, is, really, is really below par. Women could come together as a group, 5, 10, 15 women together, making a representation to the local headmaster will get his attention and he will change his style. He will possibly come to school every day because if you look at the local schools, if there is a complaint from your community that you're not doing the work of, uh, 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 of a principal in a school, you can mm. be removed by the local government authority. Mm. And these women can gain strength when they mobilize in a group. So that one woman who wants to get into politics can start with her local people. We have seen that our children do not have history teacher. Our children do not even speak English, and yet they have English teacher. You can make a petition, this teacher is no good, change the teacher. One voice may not work, yeah. but they can come together yeah. as a community. It is together. exactly. The woman who champions those courses automatically assumes the position of the leader of those group of people. And from that little leadership, she can propel herself forward to becoming accepted as a spokesperson and that's your first step in politics wow all right let's take a break when we get back our guest is still going to tell us more on the dangers of using your time for prevalent ads i know we're going to learn a lot from her don't go away my name is ella smith please keep watching our ladies our pride Keep watching our ladies, our pride. Hello, my name is Amarachi Ibuego and I love our ladies, our pride. I love our ladies, our pride. Welcome back. We're still with Rita Chris Garuba. Hi, Ma. Hello. It's so interesting. I, I'm just enjoying your conversation with us today. But, um, we are going to talk about the eels. So what do you have to tell us? If we don't manage our time well, mm. what are the dangers we're bound to face if we don't use it judiciously? When you don't use your time well, I can almost tell you for certainty that in time to come, you would look back and wonder, where did my life go? What mm. did it all mean? It would become meaningless because you have wasted that life. Mm. Time is something we agree we must redeem in doing things that are profitable to yourself and your community, of course your family, so that you, you, you cannot spend the time going from place to place looking for either cheap gossip or on productivity. You would also find that even when you have to go out, you observe things, you have noticed your neighbor is doing well, you could find out from her what is she doing. It might be a business she has entered into. She could teach you about it. And you both now engage in that business. My NGO actually trains women on productivity at all levels. Of course, at my level as a barrister, I find that time is something I work with all the time. That's right. I get alarms literally mm. telling me when things have to be done mm. and when, where I have to go and what I don't have to do. But you find that a lot of time 
is spent studying, is spent reading, because you have to be abreast of the daily developments of the law. Law is essentially dynamic. The thing you can expect from law is change. And so if you leave law, which is almost like a very jealous mistress, and go elsewhere mm -hmm. for five years only, you the would come back and you find that you do not even know the law anymore. So time is taken. A judgment every day will tell me and keep me abreast of my profession. I attend meetings of my professional bodies. I do things that would profit profit my life, enrich my life and my community. Okay, how, how do you think um, the, the women in the rural communities can, as per, probably they may not get to you or they can be more than you, but how, sh how do you think they should use this time in mm. their little corners? In their, in, you see, the right time is available for everyone at whatever level. Even in the rural community, because I, I had occasion to work with women in, in farming ventures. And these women, the rural women, are actually the hardest working women we have. Unfortunately, the amount of hard work they do is not commensurate, commensurate in any income. way to their income. The rural woman traditionally would wake up at five o'clock. She has to fetch water to make sure that all of the children can have a bath and she can start to cook. She starts cooking invariably, her method of cooking using firewood and mm -hmm. iron stoves is very labor intensive. She has to also walk to wherever she has to go. A lot of time is spent on things that city life have actually eliminated from her. Mm -hmm. She takes care of these children. She feeds them, she bathes them, she drops them off in school. Her husband has probably gone off to the farm and she also has to go to the farm because she has farming duties. Mm -hmm. She comes back from the farm, she has to cook lunch and lunch is cooked using, there are no modern gadgets. She's using all the traditional methods of cooking. She cooks three, four meals a day herself. She has people helping her, but all of these people work daily. So she has her family to look after. She has the husband's duties to look after. She has, of course, making sure there is food in the house because her farming duties actually bring in food yeah. for the family. And of course, she has to take care of literally everything that has to do with that family. At the end of the day, this woman from January to December looks as if she hasn't done anything because she's just busy taking care taking of the day-to-day -day day chores. Day chores and, and you know what? Most of those women are really an example of the virtuous women. Mm -hmm. Because in nothing, they, they bring out so much, together. yes. But you'll be so disappointed that the very educated ones can comfortably think that they will wake up, they have a cook, they have a maid, they have everything, and they don't go out, they don't do anything. Mm. And they just sit there. What's your advice for such women? A woman who is privileged today must always remember there is always a rainy day. rainy day. In the life of every human being, there comes a time when they may be lack. It is not always plenty. And so you always build up for that rainy day. The rainy day could be the loss of your spouse. The rainy day could be when all these children grow and go away from home and then you're completely alone. The rainy day may be when illness comes. You must harvest that time for that possibility. Don't waste it sleeping or getting fat or eating or dressing up and gossiping. Make sure that even the dressing has some, that's some thing it's speaking about. Nothing should be wasted in life. So without the woman putting her own quota, because we keep demanding 30%, 40%, 50% affirmative action. action. And sometimes we look for the 50% to, to, to give the action no, and we no, don't we find it. We want them. it as a gift. We want it as a gift, but we must earn it. earn it. We must merit it. We must take it by force if it's not being given because it's ours. Yeah. But if you sit back and say, no, let somebody else do it, it would never happen. You know, a few months back, we had a rally, they had a rally in Abuja for women, political rally. Mm. And I was amazed. I was looking at the TV and I saw women and I think they got one musician and was telling them all I want is your waist and women were just, they left their homes, they were going on with some, some acts that you, 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 you will never see a man do that. 
If a man is calling for a meeting, he knows what they're going to discuss in the meeting. And they go to it. Mm. But we, we, we take things for granted. We think he's coming to show your dress. Come and wear the uniform. Oh, I was able to buy it. I can afford it. People strive to just buy a uniform for, for meeting. Mm. Not striving to get into the top. What would you advise mm. them? You see, sometimes we also have to work with our women. Women are not men. And so you have to work with them. The, the, the rally you spoke about, yes. But you see, there's a common trait about women wanting to be identified equally. And it's normally done in Nigeria by wearing the same clothing. But you see, even that could be used to our own advantage in that you could use that to catapult women together to come together to vote. There must be a common trend. If you see that, they love to dance. It's not show me your waist or dance with your hips. They could dance other, dance, other dances. But women traditionally sing. I know when I was farming, my planters, a row of 25 women planted fantastically well because they sang and literally planting became a dance. You, and they did, you could harvest what they do well. They love dressing up. They're colorful. Don't knock them for it. Women can never be men. And if they became men, it would be totally boring. We need the dance. We need the song. We need the laughter and the happiness. Okay. But under it all, we have a purpose. Political emancipation. You know, someone sent a message to us on our ladies of pride. Mm. He said, what are you people doing about women who dance nude for men when they are singing? I haven't seen any but women no, dancing you seen, you nude. Have you seen the latest musical of today? No. The young boys would take the time, write a song, do all the things, go to the studio. Then they will have girls that wear tiny pants mm -hmm. and probably bra and be mm -hmm. just be seducing people on screen. And that's just their duty. Mm -hmm. And we, we just, I don't know, we're thinking it like it's, we, this is yeah. the only thing we know how to do. Again. Just, uh, we can only seduce men, we can only use our body. Exactly. What do you have to tell those exactly. women? You see, how they should present their body and use it well. Indeed, you will always have those ugly acts that really, I would have thought those, uh, there really used to be the uh, cinematography, is it the standards and supervision? that would not allow certain videos and certain cameras or certain films to be shown to particular age groups. That seems to have gone, in fact, that seems to have literally disappeared in that some videos cannot be aired at some particular times because little children would see them. Yeah. Those things should be revived because of the truth. I was driving, I was in Lagos and I was driving through some slummy areas of Lagos and as I looked left and right, all I saw were shops selling these stretch clothes that they sell by there. I mean, China has exploded in Nigeria, but what did they give to us? This awful trash, trash, trash. that our girls and women wear exposing all of their bodies. And sometimes I wonder, do these girls have mothers? Do they have fathers? Do I they have say. churches? And do they have principles? Because if they had those four, they would not wear some of that trash. I could not wear them. Because in the school I attended to your principal, you were in trouble. Your father would not let you out with such clothes. Yeah. Your mother, of course, monitored you into the ground. You could not do some of those things. And so we should really call back those mentors, those parents, those principals, because our children are now being allowed to do almost anything. Anything. And that leads to chaos. I still I believe in there's, supervision. There's a saying that says you are dressed the way you dress. In fact, I, I have a saying which is, which is God designed clothes for men and the devil designed for women. Today you see women near, in near nudism. Even what they wear is, de is designed to outline every single aspect of their bodies. And it, it, is it from a lack of knowledge? Okay, can you just give a message to women mm -hmm. and also to the young girls? How they should use the time well? Because mm -hmm. I guess if, if we started earlier, it would be good for us. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say, yes, there's a lot being, and, the, and, and of course today we're emphasizing on dressing and time management. But even over and above that, 
make your life worth it by getting all the education you can get because that is the first thing that would open up the world to you. I know a woman who married at 17, but in marriage she went to evening classes. She did her O levels, she did her A levels, she read a law degree and is a practicing barrister. Manage and redeem your time. In terms of dressing, dress as you want to be addressed. I keep speaking to young girls. Today you might think it is hip, or I don't know which language to use because I'm actually quite old fashioned. You may think it is, it is good to show off all your assets, but you're too beautiful to display yourself on the street and attract unwanted attention. You have a future, an extremely bright future, and your conduct today would mar that future. Keep in mind, tomorrow you'll be great, but let us not spoil today's foundation by carelessness, bad dressing, and not redeeming your time well, because it speaks definitely about your future. Thank you. Thank you so much. I guess I've just said what she's got to tell us, and I believe that all of you, you and I, we're going to use our time well and put our lives together. If you have not been doing that, you have to start now. We want to say thank you to you. We love all your comments. I just wish we can get to say we're responding to them. Our time is just 30 minutes. And in 30 minutes, if, I, if I'm going to respond to all of that, then that means we will not have an interview. But I promise you, one day we'll do that for you. For me, Amaka Care and the crew, we want to say thank you and bye for now. <laughs>